Paul. Good morning. Good morning. The topic of my nanolog is and still I rise. And it started it started with a rash on my stomach. Then it moved to my arms. I thought I was having an allergic reaction. So I went to my primary care physician and she didn't really know what it was, so she sent me to a dermatologist. I was told just some needed need some cream and then it would get better soon, but it didn't. The rash got worse and it began and I began having pain. The rash spread to my arms and my legs, but not my face nor my back. I was seen in the emergency room. They performed all types of tests on me and finally the result of the CAT scan revealed there was calcification in my abdomen. I didn't understand what was going on. Here I am, a nurse dedicated to serving others and making sure my patients go to the doctor. Prevention is what I stress, but I was dumbfounded when the diagnosis came back as cancer stage four. And it started as ovarian cancer. That made no sense to me as I had completed a complete hysterectomy 25 years prior to. I want you to hear what I just said. A complete hysterectomy. But some cells were left behind that were malignant. I started chemotherapy for the third time two weeks ago. God got me in his precious hands because this is my third time wrestling with this disease. And I did mention that I am a nurse, right? right? Well, you might be saying, how did I know? I did not know. Yes, I was bloated. I asked my doctor about that, and they said it was from a, her a hiatal hernia. I had acid reflux. I thought it was a result of the hernia, but all along it was cancer. Wow. At first, I started feeling real sorry for myself. Depression tried to overtake me. I was overwhelmed. But God, see, I know that God is a very present help in the time of trouble. I know he never will leave me nor forsake me. I know that through it all, bless the Lord at all times, I know that he's keeping me. I know that he knows every hair on my head and every cell in my body. He knew that I was a warrior. Such a time for this. And I have been a warrior. So I no longer see myself as a patient. I see myself as a physician, apprentice under Dr. Jesus. I stand here bearing witness to his grace. I stand here bearing witness to his joy. I stand here bearing witness to his mercy. Right now in faith, I believe that I am God's surgical instrument performing surgery and removing all of your doubts by the might of the Holy Spirit, removing your fears, your depression, and there will be an impl implementation of trust that will take hold of you. And I'm asking you to join with me and know that we are yet alive. And still, again, we rise. There's a part of me that just wants to help somebody. I could never figure out what my calling was, what God wanted me to do. Okay. And I know what he wants me to do is to get out there and to do just what I'm doing now. Tell my story to tell them don't give up. Don't give up no matter what you do, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how depressed you get, no matter, you know, if you feel like you're all alone, you're not. All you gotta do is just look to God. He will see you through, you know, and you have to have the faith that you can make it, you know. You can't have a pity party.